Hello everybody, all my audio friends around the world. How are you today? Hope all is good. It's me, Paul, back again in my studio, Warsaw, Poland. Good to see you all, guys. Well, today we're gonna get back to some voice <laughs> issues like noise or reverb and the ways of removing it because people tell me, and I've heard it a couple of times, you should try Goyo, which is a relatively new free plugin for noise removal and de-reverberation. It's in beta stage, public beta stage. It's completely free. And of course I would try it because I already use Akon, uh, Extract Dialog and Deverberate. I also do have Clarity tools for denoising and de-reverberation. And all these tools use AI or machine learning to do their job. And that makes me ask myself, is it an AI war of some kind already? Let's find out today. Hey. If you think this channel is a cool place, you can always subscribe somewhere here. You can support my channel also somewhere here. You can also like this video and comment on it. So we ignite a new, nice, peaceful, yet hot discussion. Let's go. Okie dokie. Take a look at what I have prepared for you today. As I said, I'm using Aiken Digital tools more than happily for denoising, not only that. So this is my Extract Dialog, AI machine learning based tool for removing heavy noise from my material. Then comes Clarity by Waves, which looks like this. And then Goyo, and this is the interface. It's both ambience or noise removal tool and reverb removal tool. Here we will work as an ambience or noise removal tool. And then same clip, but with reverb added. And then I will go for Akon Deverberate, which is my favorite de-reverberation tool uh, so far. Then Clarity De-Reverb. And then Goyo again. The last stage of our test will be performance test. And I know already that Akon is way more efficient for any CPU than Waves is, so we will make a test actually Aiken versus Goyo. We're gonna skip Clarity, which is not the best thing when talking about performance, that's for sure. And that's it. Take a listen to this raw, noisy material. It's sort of one of these situations where we have to sort of pull together as a family. Yeah, I would have... really appreciate it if you can, the attitude. It's okay. like... Uh, every second week we're doing something with Okay, I understand that, but you know, this is a funeral. So we kind of have to come. I mean, there's not really Just the same. Way. I mean, we see them all the time. I, mean, I know, we see all. them all the time. So what I tried to achieve here was that I found a nice clip on SoundSnap that, both, uh, that contains both male and female voice mm, with different dynamics. It's louder, it's more quiet, they talk together, and there's some street noise. Uh, that it's kind of constant, but there is also some movement in it. So probably this is like a modal situation. A lot of us will meet when doing any audio post what's, what, whatsoever uh, or working with noisy homemade vocals, let's say. Mm, and we will start, of course, with Aiken. We're going to do it quick. I'm not reviewing this plugin, remember? It's sort of one of these situations where we have to sort of pull together as a family. I would really appreciate it if you can. It's like uh, every second week we're doing something. Like okay, you. I understand that, but you know, this is... Yeah, the great thing about it is that I don't have to tweak it at all. Usually the basic default setting takes me there. So yes, that's it. Then comes clarity. Again, I will do it really quick. And usually I just uh, simply squeeze it to the max for maximum result and it works the same good. It's sort of one of these situations where we have to sort of pull together. It's sort of one of these situations where we have it's sort of one of these it's sort of one of these situations where we have to sort of pull together. Yes, I thought so. That broad one will be the best algorithm for this. And then comes Goyo, and we will spend a bit more time probably here. So let's zero this. It's sort of one of these situations where we have to sort of pull together as a family. Yeah. I would really appreciate it if you can. It's okay. like uh, every second week we're doing something. With okay, your I understand that, but you know, this is a funeral, so we kind of have to come. I mean, there's not really just anything. the same. I mean, we see them all the time. I mean, I know we see mom. them all the time, but there's nothing I can really. Yeah, they're talking about funeral, guys. It's not bad at all, 
But I believe I'm going to make it louder for myself. I believe I do hear traces of noise. It's, it's sort of one of these situations where we have to sort of pull together. As a you know, I, mean, I would really appreciate it if you can. The end. It's okay. like uh, every second week we're doing something. With okay, your I understand. Yeah, sorry for my expression, but yes, definitely, there is some noise audible, and maybe we will compare like two or three chunks uh, of each plugin now. Give me a second. I'm ready to listen to the results. It's sort of one of these situations where we have to sort of pull together. It's sort of one of these situations where we have to sort of pull together. It's sort of one of these situations where we have to sort of pull together. I would really appreciate it if you can. It's like. I would really appreciate it if you can. It's like. I would really appreciate it if you can. It's like. Uh, every second week we're doing something. Okay, I understand that, but you know, this is a funeral. Uh, every second week we're doing something. Okay, I understand that, but you know, this is a funeral. Uh, every second week we're doing something. Okay, I understand that, but you know, this is a funeral. I like Aiken most. Uh, it preserves some details a bit better than clarity. I think I could hear it in the very beginning of the first clip. It's sort of one of these. Sort of one of these. Yes, um, and Goyo comes third, but I have to tell you that the difference is not huge at all. And remember, Goyo is a beta and it's free. You don't pay for this. And having an algorithm like this even five years ago would cost a lot of money. It would be absolutely huge value right now. You can get this for free. So, for example, if you're thinking about buying Isotope RX for denoising, don't do it. Go for Goyo. It works very good and it's free, which is kind of wow. Though, it's not the best one here, surely. Let's see how it goes with the reverberation, the second part of our test. Let's listen to the raw clip. It's yeah. sort of one of these situations where we have to sort of pull together as a yeah, family. I would really appreciate it if you can. Be it's okay. like uh, every second week we're doing something. With okay, your I understand that, but you know this is a funeral. Yeah, you already know this uh, clip from the previous test. Aiken deverberate. Same thing here. Usually, I don't even have to touch it uh, because it does amazing job as it is. God, it's sort of one of these situations where we have to sort of pull together as a yeah, family. I would really appreciate it if you can. Be it's like uh, every second week we're doing something. Okay, I understand. I don't have to touch it. It's great. Then clarity D reverb. These situations where we have to sort of pull together as a yeah, family. I would really appreciate it if you can. Be it. It's okay. like uh, every second week we're doing something. Okay, with your I understand. Yeah, I think also it works best as it is, so I won't touch it anymore. Now comes Goyo. And here we are getting rid of reverb. It's God, sort of one of these situations where we have to sort of pull together as a yeah, family. I would really appreciate it if you can. Be it's okay. like. There's not really. Just the same. It's God, yeah, sort of one of these situations where we have to sort of pull together as a yeah, family. Man. I would really appreciate it if you can. Be it. It's okay. like. Uh, every second week we're done. Also, it left a trace of reverb. Very same situation as with this mm, denoising tool. Mm, and also, I will create two clips, maybe two or not three clips, to take a listen. It's God, sort of one of these situations where we have to sort of pull together. It's God, sort God, of God. one of these situations where we have to sort of pull together. It's God, yeah, sort God. of one of these situations where we have to sort of pull together. Yeah, yeah, man. Man. I would really appreciate it if you can. Be it. It's like. Yeah, man. Man. I would really appreciate it if you can. Be it. It's like. Yeah, man. Man. I would really appreciate it if you can. Be it. It's like. Okay, my friends, again, very same story. First place goes to Aiken, then Clarity D Reverb, which does a nice job but leaves some some hum some noise actually that's not there in the verberate then comes goyo uh, and the performance here like of course in a relative scale and very subjectively i like denoiser more this de reverb tool 
does a good job, but it's like it's been tweaked 60% on. Like dry wet uh, was set at 60. So working correctly, working nice, but like not pushing it to the max that I can get to get rid of every single trace of reverb, reverb that's there. But remember, this is a free plugin, which still makes it something amazing. And now comes the CPU test. And I will remove clarity here. And I will focus only on Aiken and Goyo. My buffer is set to 1024 samples. I'll leave it there and I will copy as many Aiken instances as possible before my, pro, my CPU uh, gets crazy. I was able to run 106 instances of this dialog extract while having my mm, mail um, program and my browser and OBS and the notepad and something else open also uh, in my system, which is kind of impressive, I would say, for a machine learning tool. Let's remove all this and let's skip to Goyo now. I was able to run 10. It's very much clarity-like. I think that clarity results was a bit better, but this is not good at all. It's not optimized at all, so performance is not a strong point on this one, especially that uh, it's not the best out there. Like, the algorithm doesn't work best and it's not optimized at all. Of course, we remember one thing. It's better, two things. It's better and it's free, guys. Uh, but working with multiple dialogue mm, or vocal instances, mm, it's a no-go. Okay, let's go to the, the reverberation. Yes, I was able to run exactly 50 of them. And this is a surprise for me because, frankly, I thought I will be able to run more deverberates than extract dialogues by Aiken, but still very fine result, 50 instances. We'll skip to Goyo now. I was able to run 19 instances of Goyo, which is a better result than the result with their the noising algorithm, but still it's not the most satisfying thing out there and Aiken Digital easily wins this one. Of course, I will repeat it again. Goyo plugin is in beta testing. It's a free public beta and you grab it for free, guys. And you know what? I think I'm ready to sum the things up for you now. Uh, guys, I think that discussion about AI wars it's not fully out of context on, or, or makes no sense at all. No, no, no. We should really start thinking uh, about this in categories of some really heavy, heavy competition. Because, okay, Goyo, uh, the creators of Goyo are called Supertone. It's a Korean startup, Southern Korean startup. I visited their website and I learned they also work on some voice synthesis or voice replacement. Uh, voice conversion plugins, which are not available for now at all. Goyo is their only better product you can simply test right now. Uh, on the other hand, they got 45 billion Korean won, which is around 35 million dollars of additional investment this year, which makes them kind of serious, but the competition didn't fall asleep and they run and speed up with amazing products like Aiken Digital does. It's a, it's a greatest example as for me of really innovation in, in audio. Mm, also Soundly, for example, speech synthesis works really amazing. So mm, I hope all the best. Mm, and I hold my thumbs for Goyo and Supertone people from Korea. 
but the guys are entering really the market that can saturate very quickly with absolutely astounding, astonishing products. And it's going to happen in a year, maximum two years. So I will review new AI tools coming one uh, after another, after another. And probably the day will come very soon that comparing voice denoisers, voice separators will not make too much sense because the market is going to get crowded with them and they're going to work very similar because neural networks are getting cheaper, more accessible for the creators, for programmers or for, for any developers or, or, or any business people around. So yeah, this is really the start of some AI wars in audio and the, result, uh, the results are going to be surely very interesting because the more competition you have, the better products, better optimized, better thought out, designed, you have to still deliver, my friends. And I can't actually wait to see this huge audio brawl, I would say a huge audio fight of some kind start really happening. We just started, guys. That's it for today. I hope you liked it. And of course, as always, I hope to discuss things with you down below. And I hope to see you very soon. Take care. Bye.